What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel, Dylan here. So the Uber CEO, Uber is now uh, laying off drivers by the thousands in mass and drivers are upset about this they're actually protesting so we're gonna uh, share the video with you all so please thumbs up the video and i also also want to thank our sponsor solo so if you haven't been deactivated yet there's a new app called solo which is the business app for drivers that help guarantee your pay track your income and optimize your income as well so for a limited time, we have a special with them where all of our watchers get 10 bucks just for signing up with our link below and trying it out for free. You can sign up if you hate it, you know, get your 10 bucks, delete the dang app, okay? Don't tell them I said that. <laughs> but no, I mean, obviously, you know, try it out. There's no risk. You can try it out for free and you'll fall in love with it. It's a great app. I use it and uh, drivers, they're saying, make an estimated five thousand dollars more a year with solo than any other driver so all right so we're looking at wired undocumented workers protest uber eats crackdown in france the gig economy platform welcomed thousands of immigrants during the pandemic unions say now it's deactivating them in mass and uber um you know these workers are protesting they're upset the gig economy platform uber decided let's hire all of these you know um undocumented workers immigrants and now all of a sudden it's a rug pull right they're saying oh yeah you know that was good for PR but you know we don't really actually care about them we're gonna fire you all right away Asimi Abul Abulaji returned from holiday with his family in the south of France to an email I want to go to the south of France it looks beautiful out there informing him that his job had vanished after two years and 11,000 deliveries. There you have it, proof of the pudding. Uber does not give a flying SH about you. This guy did 11, you know how long it takes to 11,000 deliveries? I can maybe do 10 deliveries in a day. I mean, that is tiring work. Maybe 15 if I'm pulling, you know, a crazy day. You're talking about uh, a thousand of those days. This is years worth of work, of full-time work, crazy hard work. His career account for Uber's food delivery business, Uber Eats, had been deactivated with that warning. How in the living SH can Uber just deactivate drivers without warning? I mean, obviously they can because we're all independent contractors and we basically signed our whole, you know, all of our rights away. But like the fact that they don't even, oh, maybe let's second, then maybe let's just double check this driver who's done 11,000 deliveries and make sure that, you know, it wasn't a mistake. I was shocked after two years of gold service, he said. His main source of income disappeared and 97% rating became worthless. Oh yeah, I love having a you know high rating. Doesn't matter. You'll get canned in a second. Abulaji is not alone. Today he joined hundreds of other couriers to protest the company's crackdown on undocumented workers. In Paris, so they're saying this is undocumented workers are getting deactivated. In Paris, hundreds of protesters, many on bikes, chanted, justice for couriers, justice for Uber Eats. Anger started spreading two months ago when Uber Eats deactivated the accounts of dozens of couriers, claims Jerome Pimont, president of the collective of platform couriers, the union that organized the Paris protest. Then it accelerated and Uber Eats announced it had deleted 2,500 accounts, a massacre. That's crazy. Let's, let's watch the video. Let's check it out. See what's going on. Americans, in my opinion, don't have the guts to do this. This is France. Not 
I love how that guy at the end, uh, um, explaining to that older gentleman right there, you know, and this older couple, what, what this is all about. And they actually seem interested, so hats off to that older couple. Protesters are accusing Uber of exploiting undocumented workers' precarious status and using them to pump and dump career numbers as demand rises and falls. The company made it easy for undocumented workers to apply to work on its platform during the pandemic when takeaway demand was high, unions say. See, I called it. That's what they did. They said, oh, we need workers. Let's let's take advantage of all these you know, undocumented workers who need work. Let's make it easy for them to get a job. And now that demand is down, later. See you later, folks. Let me know um, your thoughts on all of this. You can check out the article. It's obviously super long, and I don't have time to read it all. I know you guys have stuff to do, but check out Solo definitely with the link down below. Get your $10 for signing up for free. It's the business app for drivers. They help you optimize your income, track your expenses, and even guarantee your pay. So when you go out and drive, you're going to get a guaranteed amount. Uh, you can even see there's little shifts you can sign up for here, and that way you will make a daily guaranteed amount. I mean, that's pretty freaking amazing. So um, check out Solo, link down below, get your 10 bucks. Show proof that you're a gig worker by linking your account, and they'll send you $10.